give a holler if you have any questions. Hello, friend. I feel strange. In the market for some hunting supplies? Are you staring at me, bug-eyed? Ah, yes. Here, take a look at this. Thank you very much for your business. I can tell you're no stranger to the wilds. I'm sure we can meet your hunting needs. Excuse me, sir. Serious talk coming. But would you like to have your fortune told? I'll be happy to assist you if you'd like to purchase something. Of course. But perhaps even a skeptic is willing to take pity on a poor man's ramblings with a gold coin and a moment of their time. Excellent. I you will not be no disappointed. The wilds. For this so we is a new needs. beginning. And what is a beginning but a promise of more to come? Ah, let us not be impatient, for this story can begin any number of ways. A childhood whim, a divine plan, or maybe one man's innocent mistake. Oftentimes it isn't important how it begins, you have need of or even supplies, why. Then you've come to the right place. Just that it does. For you, this gold piece is that marker, the starting point. Where it goes from here, I'll be happy well, to assist you that if you'd like to purchase is something. for you to decide. There are many things that you will regret, for that is the essence of choice. To find the path that you will regret the least. Others will make their own choices. Some of them head for a campfire to the west, where hunters gather to rest. An important meeting is about to take place there. You, have need of hunting you supplies, will do well not to right miss place. it. Oh, and one other thing. This gold piece, this marker you have given me, I do not plan to spend it until you are finished. And if by chance, at the conclusion of your journey, we sell both you feel the price was unwarranted, then I will return it to you. The end will be yours to keep. or Imperial, it's the King's mood that will decide who rules Skyrim. So what? The mood is just empty theater. Did anyone think Toreg wouldn't be High King when his lord died? The outcome will be a formality. Only because we haven't had a true challenger. But the first descendant of Isgrimor since Borges. That changes everything. These pretenders can sit on the throne. They can even wear the jagged crown, but it belongs to her. Do you think this child will be like Martin Septim and transform into a dragon? How do we even know she has what it takes? We don't. Blood does not guarantee wisdom. 
but it can unite the people under a single banner. And right now, that is what Skyrim needs. Uh, and can you prove this girl is who you say? The attempts on her life is proof enough. Proof of something, yes. Whether it is the purity of her blood, or the skill of your tongue, that remains to be seen. Forge the axe with her blood. Slay the beast who cannot be slain. Then we'll talk. You! Are you really the one? Are you Dragonborn? So the steward of our destiny is a reluctant hero. But, but fear not, there is no need for such modesty here. You fit the description. Both of the people and the song. Still, you being here, I... Sure as bones, it can only be the work of the gods. She is a descendant of Borges, of that I'm certain. A bastard child he sired in Cyrodiil, before he was consumed by the wild hunt. We keep her hidden for, for her safety. When it comes time for her identity to be revealed, it will shake the very foundation of the realm. But we need arms, and we need soldiers, and for that we need proof. A ritual to prove one's blood. Legend has it that the old at Morans would prove one's lineage by reforging the blades of their ancestors. As the blade was quenched in one's own blood, they say only a true heir could restore the weapon to its original edge. However, in the case of royalty, the legend goes a step further. They speak of a great dragon with fangs as hard as Stalrim. And only one with Iskramor's valor can slay it. I, I I understand your reluctance, but 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 this is bigger than the both of us. The stability of Skyrim for the entire era is at stake. I trust you will do what is right. Falatild will guide you. You can seek the healer's help as well, but uh, his role is for the ritual, as to quench a blade requires an ocean of blood. Falatho! Yes, my Thane? Inform the Dragonborn of what we know regarding the axe. As you command, my Thane. Greetings, Dragonborn. I am Falatild, housecarl to Thane Larsden. Sorry for the short introduction, but we don't have time for pleasantries. Plenty as it were, we're in the midst of obtaining a clue that points to its exact location. It's a historical journal detailing information on the burial of Nordkin, primarily those who were born under less than ideal circumstances. In other words, it's a mausoleum for royal bastards. Quite fitting, considering our queen is the same. Uh, you know, with all due respect. <laughs> Don't apologize to me, my Thane. But as I was saying, it makes sense that the axe would be buried with the people for whom it was designed. The bastards, as my Thane so eloquently put it. As for the journal, it was said to be at the College of Winterhold in their special archives. No, as a matter of fact, we already hired a thief to steal it. Problem is, she double-crossed us and fenced the journal. So our first task is to interrogate the thief. She's currently being held in Castle Dower Dungeon. For murder. Framed most likely by whoever bought her out, and now she's about to be silenced. Which means we need to hurry and meet with her before the executioner does. spirit provides the best counsel. Ah, Dragonborn. Seems the steed has brought us both here. This instrument's in a greater plan. May the Lord, through victory or defeat, plant the seeds of peace.
During my time wandering the military camps, I heard many grumblings from the disenchanted. They spoke of a faction of peace, united under the banner of the true heir of Esquimor. Still, I never sought out the Thane. However, as the Temple of Kinnereth is in Whiterun, it was only a matter of time before our paths crossed. For you see, the ritual to prove the Queen's legitimacy requires a healer. And thus, the stars guided me to the temple. And to me. From what I gather, she's a child. And for that reason, she's quite vulnerable. It's also why the thing keeps her location and identity a secret. And why her presence is not required here. Like Elisif, I suspect her readiness will depend on her advisors. But my presence is not in support of her cause. Whether this ritual proves her bloodline is irrelevant. My only concern is that she survives it. I'm afraid I do not know. As Karus said, the king's mood is but a formality. Yet the name Esquimor is revered by every Nord in Skyrim. And not even someone like Ulfric could deny them consideration. Understood. The Thane was born under the sign of the lover, no doubt. Graceful, but passionate about his cause. The house Carl I know little about other than she refuses to allow me to heal her. Farewell. I'm sorry, but I really must go. Wonderful. Ah, uh, believe it or not, working at a brothel, but not as a courtesan. Although, it would have been expected of her when she came of age. Fortunately, the Divines willed that we find her first. Not that it wasn't without its difficulties. We had to retrace the steps of a long dead king and rely on oral history as opposed to recorded archives. Which is why many, like Karis, doubt the validity of her claim. Yet legend speaks of a way to prove her blood. Karis, a former Imperial soldier, but the leader of a growing faction who are loyal to neither the Stormcloaks nor the Empire. Like many in this war, they despise the political maneuvering and thirst for power that plague both sides. What they want is to serve a cause that is noble. Unfortunately, as this mission has many moving parts, I have duties elsewhere. But, good luck, and the both of you, stay safe. Right. Solitude. I forget how fast the pace is in the city. We should keep moving, so as not to stand out. He once served under Balgruf the Greater. Like the Jarl, he didn't want to take sides. Unlike the Jarl, he was compelled to take action. He can be overzealous at times, but I like to believe that as long as I'm by his side, no harm can come to him. Yes, when two people travel together, it's almost inevitable. It hasn't weakened his resolve, though. Quite the contrary. I was hunting a saber cat. The cat, as it turns out, was hunting the thane. Fortunately, I was faster. His spells are powerful, but his allegiance is to the Empire. I don't think we should trust him but the Thane begs to differ. 
I believe my Thane left out one detail. This axe is not just handed down from the ancestors of Borgas. It is forged from his very bones, and its blade can only be quenched by the blood of his kin. Yes, but a skeleton has many bones, and they all look alike. A bone was stolen, switched with a nameless one by those loyal to Isgrimor's kin. That bone was forged into a weapon, so his descendants could one day avenge him. For the second part of the legend says this, when the hunt was finished, only one remained, a beast, and only a king's blade no, can slay it. Wait, hold on, Dragonborn. I think it's best you go in there alone. She doesn't know you, and it'll come as less of a threat. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Does it matter? Day, we both have the same goal, balls. and this is the best way to achieve it. All we need him. to find out is who she it's sold the journal to. I'll meet it's you back here when you're finished. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Thinking, maybe yes. I'm the dragonborn, and I just don't know it yet. <laughs> they say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. Shouted him apart. Well, that was easy. Cry for help and the White Knights come running to the rescue. Of course, I could have been out of here days ago. But I figured I'd wait for some hero to help me distract the guards. That's where you come in. Sorry, but I've been cooped up in here long enough. This little bird is about to take flight. If you're going to make trouble, then make it. But you're going to have a hard time convincing anyone you had nothing to do with this. Either way, I'm leaving. I stand with the storm cloaks. You imperial dogs will never break my will. Who's asking? Seems to me the only thing I know is that you killed for saying it. So I guess what it comes down to is this. You need me, and I sort of need you, but not really. Want my help? It's gonna cost you. Don't want my help? It's gonna cost you more. Because I'm getting out of here one way or another, and I suggest you make it easier on the both of us.
It's as good as giving me the key. But I can't just walk out of here dressed like this. We have to get my stuff, too. There's a passageway two cells down. I can tell by the way the air comes through the wall. Probably got a shadow mark on it, too. You go head off the guard and just keep flapping your gums. Then follow me down the passageway. about you and your honeyed words. If you need portions, head over to Angeline's Aromatics. All right, got my gear, and my picks. But let's not start polishing each other's daggers just yet. Still gotta find our way topside. You won't get it. Hang out of me. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Stay low, stay grounded. There's a general goods store around here. Bits and pieces, I think. Sell the robes and take the coin. Faster that way. Yes! Freedom! Smell that fresh air? Finally, I've got enough space to stretch my arms, right into someone's pocket. Not yours, though. You've proven more than resourceful. And if we work together, you might prove invaluable as well. The name's mourned us, like the day. Give me enough time and I'll steal the other six. About the journal? Yeah, I stole it. So what? Someone pays me to steal something, I steal it for them. No way. That's bad for business, and a good way to get yourself killed. It's hard enough escaping the guard. Look, I'm pretty awful with voices. For a blind girl, anyway. So I have a system. I told them to have a man waiting for me at the docks. He'd have a satchel with three stones inside, and a coin purse with my payment. Then I lift the purse and put the journal in the satchel. So I did my job. But I'll tell you what. Why don't you take me to your boss? Let's sort this out, one way or the other. After all, it Take was a, a job break. Enjoy the atmosphere. Although you probably didn't give our friend much choice. You may not remember me, but you'll remember Thane Larsden. Come. <coughs> we drink to our youth, to the days come and gone. For the age of aggression is just about done. We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore Good. what we own. Everyone's here. With our blood and, and our steel, we will take back Excellent. our home. The thief wants to know what in oblivion this is all about. The job was taken care of weeks ago. Is that so? Because we wouldn't be having this conversation if you did. 
Whatever. I'm only responsible for two things. Stealing your item and making sure your man pays me. All the other stuff is your job. You flippant little wretch. Do you even realize what you've done? You've jeopardized the very future of this province! Easy, love. Anger will do us no good at this point. Fine. But I was waiting at the docks for you. I still have both the coin purse and the satchel, and I never saw you once. However, let's say, for a moment, that you're telling the truth. This man you speak of, I suppose you wouldn't know what he looked like? He kept his coin purse on his right hip. By the way it sagged, it probably was about a week away from splitting. He was about your height, but he had short strides and a bad knee. Maybe from fighting, but probably from age. But yeah, I haven't the slightest clue what he'd look like. Then what good are you? My Thane, this wasn't a total loss. We know someone is shadowing us, or perhaps even has someone on the inside. It's too bad you're blind, thief. All we really needed was someone to read the journal. That's where the value lies. Yeah, well, I can't be blamed for that. Although your lover might find a way. Damn, these wretched thieves. If only we could operate out in the open. In any case, I... I need another favor. A, a small one, this time. I hired two adventurers to help us with extracting the axe. Friends of yours, I believe. They both came highly recommended. I sent them off on an errand to the local blacksmith. It would save me time if the four of you could check on one final lead. It's because you are Dragonborn that I trust you with this task. I can't have anyone but you or myself be the one who retrieves the axe. But I digress. It's a bit far-fetched, but uh, I met a Stormcloak in Rorikstead who hinted we might find what we're looking for at Orphan Rock. I'm afraid I have no choice but to take the thief at their word. The description is vague. But it may match someone in our group. Remember, not a word of this should be spoken to anyone. Take Falatil with you. Should you succeed, she'll know where to find me. Yeah? Thane Larsen is going to recruit more men. Oh, you're not getting rid of me that easily. I owe you my life. Outside, that makes us family. Oath sisters. My bones are your blood, and your There's blood is my bones. But if you don't need me right now, then I guess I'll have to keep the riches to myself. And it's a great day for a heist. All right then. For the age of aggression is just about done. All right, let's keep to the shadows. We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings. On the day of your death, we will more precious to a bard than his hands. Well, in my I'm case bored. it would be my Let's play face, games. which is precisely oh, why I don't like helmets. Can we get some food? But I see what you're getting. Father says that he play no hands, anymore. no music. Exactly, and a bound sword is so much more comfortable in your palm. It's like holding a cloud. If clouds were sharp and made to cut people. Yeah, except you have to be a mage to wield one. What do you think of this mace? Seems fairly balanced. How should I know? They all look the same to me. And by that I mean extremely heavy. Hey, I was wondering when you would show up. I bet you didn't expect to see me here, given how much I loathe politics. 
but I assure you I am acting strictly in my own interest. So what if Thane Larsen wants to overthrow everything? I mean, it's not like the Thalmor gave me a better offer. You two know each other. Small world. But seeing as I'm at the center of it, it's natural for all of you to gravitate toward me. Anyways, we're finished here. Doesn't look like there's anything that's better than what we already have. So, do we know where we're headed next? Supposedly there's some barrow somewhere full of things that only I can kill. Hmm, good question. Usually it's because there's a lot of other things that need killing too. Things that are beneath me. Anyways, I guess it doesn't matter where we're going, since you're leading the way. Just be sure to take plenty of breaks. It shouldn't take us more than a couple days to reach Riverwood, even on foot. We should spend the night there and head for Orphan Rock in the morning. Right, because the last thing we want to do is walk into a haunted Nord ruin at night. Seems to me that's the best way to avoid ghosts. Well, the imaginary ones anyway. The real ones don't really care what time it is. This would be so much easier if Helgen wasn't burned to the ground. You know, I didn't really mind the dragons all that much until they started inconveniencing me. So, Skjorn, I have to ask, exactly how many women have you bedded? Approximately. I mean, I don't expect you to have a count. It's not about numbers, Elf, although I assure you, they're mind-blowing. It's really about quality and variety. That's my true claim to fame. I've bedded wenches and nobles, farmers' daughters and soldiers' wives. Wow, that's impressive. You shouldn't admire him. A thousand nights with a thousand strangers can't compare to one night with the one you love. Oh, I know. I'm just trying to find things I don't like about everyone to lessen the impact if they die. So, Sian, if you end up getting your skull split by a Draugr, I'll just try to remember all the women who were spared from meeting you. Stop. Don't even joke about my death. It would be like the Red Mountain erupting during the reign of the Mad King. Total nightmare. You scratch my back, I Thing scratch yours. Is going to recruit more men. You know these North Germans. If we do, that's a shame. Side, but you'll be back, be something if not for me, for the profit. a chef to make me a sweet bowl. Well, I fancy myself a fairly decent chef. Maybe Falatil can help you with the rest. We aren't stopping until we get to Riverwood. Especially not for that. We got rooms uh -huh. and food, drink too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Bane Larson is going to recruit more men. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. If we do find our way inside, there will likely be something waiting for us. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Let me know if there's anything else you need. I'd rather not. Orgnar. Orgnar.
Ragnar. Are you listening? The ale is going bad. We need to get a new batch. Did you hear me? I guess you don't have potatoes in your ears after all. Just make sure we get a fresh batch in soon. You're that visitor been poking around. We don't get a lot of travelers here in Riverwood. I'm glad to assist you in any way I can. But there is something you could do for me. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Never seen them before. The book. What do they have in common? You mean besides the fact that they're all wearing matching outfits? They're all Nords. It seems our enemies finally have a face. What's wrong? You look troubled by something. I thought so too, at first. Then some of the others mentioned having nightmares. Thane Larsden says the dreams are a lesson, that the choices we are asked to make show us the price of success. What do you think it meant, this dream of yours? I said as much to Thane Larsden, but he's the kind of person who likes to confront things, no matter how hard you try to hide them. Right. The appearance of these assassins means we're on the right track. We should hurry to Orphan Rock. Zora and I used to watch what is it? in the White River and watch the clouds of Rublik Falls. The view is the same as it ever was. This is no time for you to lecture me. Do you 
think our party is balanced enough? I mean, Falatil is a ranger, but it would have been nice to take Valgus along. While we aren't fighting in the war, we're technically rebels. The hero doesn't wish to choose sides, or so he'd like us to believe. And I've seen at least five. Look, fresh corpses. They're wearing the same garb as those assassins. I've got an idea. Why don't we wait for them to retrieve the axe for us, and then just take it from whoever comes running out of the cave? We don't know if any of them survived. Let's press on. I can. Wow, a healing spell? Is there anything you can't do? If there is, it's probably something stupid anyway. Okay, maybe it's a little less ordinary than I thought. Look, down there. A camp. A week's worth of supplies by the looks of it. Let's see if we can find any information about these assassins.
Looks like these barrels are empty, and the sacks don't have much in terms of food. So either they've abandoned this pursuit, which I doubt, or they're coming back with reinforcements. What did you find? Interesting. We'll have to vet these leads further after we retrieve the axe. The blood of Skyrim. Our foe now has a face and a name. In any case, the graveyard is probably on the other side of that wall. And where is this axe going to be? Don't tell me we're going to have to dig up coffins. I don't know, but I have a feeling that's the least of our worries. Do the three of you hear something? I thought I heard a woman calling to me. Probably just the wind. Look at this place! Wisps, skeletons, and headstones. I think I need to raise my rates. Where do you think the axe is? There'll be plenty of time to look after we've cleared this place. Ready your arms! I feel that was wrong. Feast. Let's go. Let's go. 
tell you. Ha! By Lorcan's eyes, we've done it. After all this time, the axe of the bastard kings. I just wish my Thane were here to share this moment. I'm sorry. I should be thinking ahead. You're right about the assassins. Perhaps the girl mentioned in the journal will offer more clues. As for you, here's a reward. It's a good bow, and it served me well while I was Thane Larsden's housecarl. I hope it serves you just as faithfully until next we meet. If the Dragonborn gets your bow, what do I get? Aside from your undying love and admiration. If I recall correctly, the both of you were paid in advance, but I'm sure the Thane will find a way to compensate you if you wish to help us further. I don't think so. This was fun, but I feel a nice warm fire calling me back into Four Shields. Not to mention Julianne Lavive. The poor girl is probably a wreck given how long it's been since she's last seen my face. What about you, Elf? Where are you headed next? Well, I was going to follow you, but not if you're going to spend all day staring at fires and curvy wenches. I could do that at home. Conceivably. Not every adventure happens in some moldy old cave. You keep saying that, but people at the Four Shields tend to just mope around, drink, and feel miserable. That's not my idea of an adventure. You just have to appreciate the part of the inn that has me in it. <laughs> 